My name is Ziggy, and I was born on December 25, 2011. No, I'm not Jesus. When I was young, a phoenix came at night. He said, "You were born with brightness." A fallen angel turned to night. So I put on my shield, and those baptized soldiers came to fight. And they told me, "No, you were born with the darkness. You're just a woken demon turned to spite." But then one day, I grew my long white hair, my hoop, my tail. And I ran, but before the now, there was the then, way back then, and it wasn't always pretty. My name is Edgar Villegas Robles, and I was born on October eighteenth, nineteen eighty-nine. Unfortunately, I was born in a time and a place where unicorns were nothing but a distasteful myth. Like Freud thought of castration, you could say that the horn I was born with got taken away violently and with fear. And my whole life, I was taught to ignore the scars of my mutilation, scars my father could not bear to look at. In my kingdom, there were black and white horses. Each one learned behaviors and mating rituals according to the institutions and powerful hierarchies that claimed righteousness over the kingdom. As I grew, I became a martyr, a victim of my own beauty, and unavoidable. I became prey to those who abuse and seek self-realization through pedophilia and hate. I never realized how much darkness had nurtured and grown inside of me, and whenever I felt a thought of enlightenment, the fear and intolerance would make me search for masks and cover-up, piling makeup on my scars to make myself as normal and loved as possible. At a certain point, I got tired. So I constructed a horn out of duct tape and old newspaper cutouts. Slowly, I became angry, isolated, radical, and hateful. I was determined to destroy and fight against every oppression that had made me feel worthless and unnatural. Problem was, I didn't know how to. And that same black horn I built on my own head turned out to be the most dangerous mask of them all. And to take it off became the biggest fear and challenge of my journey. But I refused to give up. Eventually, I got put face to face with my shadows. On a battlefield, 
a spiritual battlefield. And I killed, and I died, and I bled, not in form, but in mind. The gap between artistic death and rebirth is a purgatory of revelations and regressions. A utopia constructed that enlightens and transforms our own spiritual DNA. Imaginative mutation is my reincarnation. In my painted utopia, I decided I would fight for artistic and spiritual freedom, and there'll be no force that can stop me. I am born. I arise. 